What's up, y'all? It's Joe for All the Black Apparel. Coming to you another video. Before we get into the video and what it's going to be, uh, make sure you hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at off the block underscore pearl. Again, that's at off the block underscore pearl. Everything is spelled the correct way. All right, so for this video right here, we gonna, I'm going to be doing um, making custom hats, um, custom uh, winter hats. Um, uh, these hats are already, they come with a patch, which is really dope. Because it looks like, you know, I, it, 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 it was made like, well, it was actually made like this, but it looks like, you know, when people see me with this hat on, they be like, oh, I got the patch on there. What, you put the patch on there? I didn't put the patch on there. They actually come like this. These hats come exactly like this. Um, so when I first got them, I was like, oh, these would be dope. You know what I mean? Like, let me try them out. So I tried them out. And as y'all can see, I got one on now. However, I'm not going to be doing my logo on this hat. I'm going to be doing... Uh, the basketball team's logo on his hat. Uh, the coach, he wanted to, he want, he seen my hat. He was like, yo, I like the, I, I want some of them with the basketball team logo or something with the, uh, talking about the basketball team. I said, all right, no problem. I got it. So I said, you know what? While I'm, while I'm ready to do these hats, I might as well go ahead and put a video together so y'all can see, um, how you can brand your business using these same hats, you know, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get right into the video. Um, I already started, I already pretty much cut everything I needed to cut. It's gonna be a two color logo on this hat. Um, so real quick, I'm gonna just measure it so y'all can know how big it is, what a printing space. So what I do it, like the printing space on here is, is it's about three and a half, like, like four. However, the printing space that I will go for where it's gonna look good is three inches long and about one and a half in height so three and a half i mean three width and about one and a half in height um everything that you do you should uh, i always use my tape measure or if you got a ruler whatever you use just so i can know what my print space is and, and how big i want the design what's gonna look good on it things like that uh so we're just gonna get right into this video let me uh, move the camera down so that y'all can see what I'm doing here. We're gonna put that there, right on the hat. And again, I'm, I'm not I'm not using my hat press um, to do these hats. I'm strictly using my 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 regular uh, my regular uh, heat press um, because I don't I don't I don't need the hat press to do this. It actually works out better on here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna um, put this on the hat. I'm gonna line this up. So it looks good on the hat. Well, and I'm gonna just check out this to make sure it's where it needs to be. I just wanna make sure. Okay, so we can move this up just a tad. Boom. So now that, okay, that's too high. Let's go down just a little bit. Let's go down a little bit. Bam. So, now that we got that all lined up on the hat and everything like that, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my Teflon sheet because I don't, I don't want the hat to get like this color or, or really stretched out because of the heat. Because these hats with too much heat, it will, you know, uh, like get, it, it won't be as tight as it, as it would without it. Um, you still press it at 305. For I, I may do this for ten seconds since I'm doing another. I'm, I'm putting another color on there as well, a, a part of a part of the logo. So I'm gonna just pre press this for about ten seconds. Then I'm gonna pull it up. Then I'm gonna lay the other one down and press it for an additional maybe like seven seconds. And then that's gonna be it. So that's ten seconds there. I'm gonna go. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Uh, we're gonna take that off there. Then I'm gonna line this up. Line this up next. Boom. Bam. So then we're gonna go ahead and press that down. All right, let me get a little bit more pressure. We're just gonna do it for maybe like seven seconds, like I said. You know, like stuff like this, it doesn't take long to do at all, you know? You just, once you get your design, you cut it, and that's that. I cut everything I do, I'm, uh, like those that's new or those that don't know, I use the Silhouette Cameo. 
uh, the Cameo, that's a three. I haven't upgraded to the new one. Uh, that works perfectly fine. When I do upgrade, I'm going to upgrade to the uh, Cameo Pro, which is the 24 inch, I think it is. I'm going to get that one. Um, right now, I, I don't need it right now. Uh, so that's what I'm working with. So now that the hat is done, that's how I came out. That's how it looks. You see, it still looks like, you know, regular. Uh, just so y'all could get a better glimpse of it. Two colors, yellow and white. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and try this on. I know, yeah, y'all need a haircut. I need to cut my hair. But too busy giving y'all content, giving y'all this content. So that's how the hat looks. Fits nice and snug. It's tight. Not loose. Warm. And bam. That's it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, turn your alerts on uh, every, so that every time I drop a video, y'all get the alert. Y'all better check it out. Uh, y'all can tell your friends or, or whoever, hey, you know, subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave comments. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at off the block underscore apparel. That's all I got for y'all. Peace out.